नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन असलम वरहत लबरकू वालेकुम असलम वरहत लबरकू माई नेम इज उमैर आई एम फ्राम बेंगलोर इंडिया आई वर्क एज एन ऑपरेशन मैनेजर आई हैव अ यंग डॉटर हुम आई वॉन्ट टू एडमिट इन टू एन इस्लामिक स्कूल द इस्लामिक स्कूल इज़ वेरी फार फ्राम माई होम वी हैव अ कॉन्वेंट स्कूल राइट बिसाइड आ होम माई वाइफ आर गूज दैट वी पुट हर इन द कॉन्वेंट स्कूल एज इट इज़ क्लोज टू आ होम she cites reason such as it is unsafe to send a girl child far nowadays but i want to put her in an islamic school so that she can stay away from shirk have an islamic environment and at the same time gain worldly progress i do not i do not mind risking her sending far away i faith in allah subhanahu wa taala that he will protect her if i strive in his way how do i convince my wife with the umair has asked a very good question that he wants to send his young child the young daughter to an islamic school but the wife is, is insisting that since the islamic school is very far better put in a school which is close by even though it's convent because it's not safe to put the child in a school which is far away basically let me tell you that bangalore is a safe city bangalore is not like manhattan of new york or bronx or you know the safe city <clears throat> i've been to bangalore many times i have many friends so if your child is going to school she is going to go at day time so i don't think so it is unsafe to send your child your daughter to a school which is far away it may be half an hour it may be one hour see to it that you arrange a proper transportation whether it be a school bus whether it be a proper vehicle which is secure i don't think so it is it is risky but what you have to realize that i do agree with umair your husband because he is striving for the akhira imagine if you are putting your daughter in a convent school and she starts believing that jesus is god or she starts worshiping be jesus as be be upon him will you be able to forgive yourself you know many a time people give the excuse that the school is far therefore i'm not sending maybe they are more impressed by the standard of the convent school as compared to islamic schools but i'm aware that alhamdulillah in bangalore there are many islamic schools you have a lot of options you can surely choose the school you feel has a better standard which is more close to quran and sunnah and even if hypothetically if the standard is less than the convent school which is close to your house it is preferable and safer to put your child whether your daughter or a son in islamic school rather than a convent school because there are high chances that your child may go away far from your deen so i do agree with umair that and i completely support him and i would like to remind the sister that please don't be so much relaxed and not at all worried about putting your child in a convent school there are high dangers that they may go far away from the deen it is more dangerous than the danger you are thinking that's unsafe for a girl to travel because if she goes far away from the deen that is multiple times more dangerous more harmful more more un islamic than talking about the safety of your child so please i request sister that see to it that and allah is there to protect you if you and i do agree with the statement of umair that if he's striving in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala surely allah will protect and bangalore is a safe city how many cases have you heard that young girls going in bangalore to school which are far they have got problem hardly any cases so and even if it's far and if it's tiring allah will support you you will get a better ajr and one more thing it's good for you also because the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when a person dies only three things continue as sawab ijariya one is the wealth that you spend in his way one is the knowledge that you spread about him about the deen and the third is pious children praying for you so if your child is pious and prays for you you will benefit if your child is not pious then it will get no benefit for you in the akhira so it will not only benefit the child it will benefit you also if you put in a good authentic islamic school hope that's the good